Good morning, everyone. This is Dallas Sports 1977 coming to you here back in Southwood in Tallahassee, Florida. I'm back from a three-day trip down in Orlando where I had to take a church group down there have a good time at SeaWorld. Uh, I'm a little bit physically worn, down, worn out, but other than that, I'm okay. The subject of today is the Dallas Cowboys getting ready for um, um, Oxnard, California um, training camp. Uh, I, I'm, I'm very concerned about our team right now. Uh, like I said in my video I did yesterday, the other day, about the Dallas Cowboys, how the front office, uh, the front office personnel and the owners, Stephen, uh, Stephen Jones and Jerry Wayne Jones, how they conduct in business. Uh, you see, I got my Dallas Cowboy shirt on and everything and my cowboy hat. And see the stars in the back. That represents, that represents the, the, the five world championships. The Dallas Cowboys represents greatness. The Dallas Cowboys is one of the greatest and you hear me, young people. I know you don't want to hear the truth. The Dallas Cowboys were, is one of the greatest franchises to ever been assembled by the legendary great Tom Landry, Tex Schramm, and Gail Brandt. They created something special. Um, they, they got their first victory two days after I was born, September 17, 1961. And they, they first year they had 11 losses and no wins. The next year they went one and 11. And that was that first year when they beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Pittsburgh Steelers used to be in their conference along with the Cleveland Browns and the Baltimore Colts and they moved over to the FC. They ended up being Super Bowl rivals. But the reason why I'm talking, bringing up history, because I want y'all young people to realize the greatness what Dallas Cowboys represents. It represents greatness. Um, the, um, the commissioner, Pete Rosell, had every NFL team to give the Dallas Cowboys their worst players off every team. They, they deliberately tried to make them fail, wanted them to fail, wanted them to fall flat on their face. But, but, but I'm saying this, God had a plan. And it started with the great legendary Tom Landry, deacon of the church, great man of God, a great warrior, great football player, Texas um, long home player, quarterback slash uh, free safety, strong safety, um, war veteran in the uh, Korean War, and uh, assistant head coaches with him and the great Vince Lombardi when they were player coaches for the stinking football giants back in, in around 58, 59, somewhere around there. And they helped build giants into a dynasty. But Tom Landry, he, this team was formed on greatness. Yes, it was. The players thought that he didn't care nothing about them, but when they, when they saw him crying, crying uh, in, his, in his office, when they saw him crying and shedding tears, and he told him, I, I feel like I've let y'all down. Feel like I have not done what I should have done. But the foundation of greatness was set right then and there. And after that, the Dallas Cowboys start winning. Had a great legendary quarterback named Don Meredith. Had a great wide receiver slash running back that played for Florida a and University Rattlers, the great bullet Bob Hayes. With the great legendary Jake Gaither was the head coach here in Tallahassee, Florida. And, and because of that greatness, the Dallas Cowboys begin to start winning games that um, they the fan, it, it was amazing back then. And I'm saying this, and it, and it got my attention when I was a little boy. How you doing, ma'am? When I was a little boy, and I, I saw them playing against the Green Bay Packers. And it was, it was uh, fantastic, amazing. It was something uh, to behold. To see that star in the helmet, and, and, and the flashing lights and everything, and the, and the glamour, but that team, started from nothing to be great and special. 
And I'm saying this, the Dallas Cowboys has what it takes to be great. They have what it takes. And the team was formed on greatness. 20 winning seasons, won their conference 18 times, eight Super Bowl appearances, five world championships. About 15 players in the Hall of Fame. The great legendary of Bob Lilly, Roger Staubach, Tony Dorsett, Drew Pearson, Rayfield Wright, uh, and there's more. Uh, Deion Sanders, another great one. Uh, let's see who else in there. Um, Cliff Harris, I believe Dan Reeves, I don't know if Dan Reeves is in the Hall of Fame or not, but he just passed away this year. The great Dan, legendary Dan Reeves passed away, and um, Rayfield Wright passed away this year. Um, Mary and Barbara passed away. So our, our Dallas Cowboy greats, a lot of, we done hit, lost about five greats of, of great Dallas Cowboy players. The great legendary Jethro Pugh passed away last year. But I'm saying this, the Dallas Cowboys were formed on amazing stories and greatness. And the foundation by the great legendary uh, coach Tom Landry. And when the players saw him showing that kindness, how you doing ma'am, good morning. When they, show, when they saw him um, showing his, uh, uh, in his teachings, he would teach, implement Christ in his teaching. He would imp implement being great men of God, great people, leaders in the community, to be great, do something special in life, be something important. And the team started winning. When the players saw that, the team started flying high. And that's where we are right now. It's been 27 years, young people, since the last time our team has won a world championship. Y'all wasn't around then, I was. Y'all might not believe it, but the Dallas Cowboys is a special, great franchise. It's time for us fans to stick together, stop uh, judging, and start loving and start appreciating the greatness what this team has. We have a great quarterback in Dakota Prescott. Everything's not perfect. Life is not perfect. Uh, we got a decent coaching staff, which can be better. We got a great defensive coordinator. Our offensive coordinator needs a lot of work. Kellen Moore, he gets out coached, out scheme. After halftime, he don't do adjustments like he should. Other co great coaches for other teams like the 49ers, the Rams, and other teams like that, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Cincinnati, um, the Los Angeles Chargers, all these, these, these franchises has great office, uh, def defensive minded people and great offensive minded people. And Kellen Moore, he, uh, he needs to work. He, know in the, he need to go in the classroom and make some adjustments. He need to go in the classroom and do some studying and figure out what he's doing is just not working. We have two great running backs, Tony Pollard and Zeke Elliott. We should be running a, a 12 personnel, 11 personnel, split backfield, offset backfield, with a H back, run, a full back formation, having both backs running at the same time, running out with screens, draws, wheel routes, uh, flare passes, and other things, and, and having Tony Pollard playing more and utilizing the great weapons that we have. So it all begins with um, um, Kellen Moore. Can he do what he need to do? I say he can. But the problem lies with stubbornness, refusing to listen, refusing to, to, to work on your weaknesses. In life, work on your weaknesses. That's what Tom Landry used to teach his players back then. That your strength don't need work, your weaknesses need work. Work on your weaknesses. How you doing this morning? Work on your weaknesses. And then when you work on your weaknesses, it helps, it helps build strength everywhere else in life. It helps, it helps. And I'm saying this, uh, the Dallas Cowboys, we are a great franchise, great franchise. And uh, it seemed like I'm keep saying the same thing over and over about Kellen Moore, Mike McCarthy, but in order for us to get past get past um, the first round of the playoffs, things need to change. Things need to get better. 
this talking heads, uh, uh, Shannon Sharp, Steve, uh, uh, Stephen A. Smith, and all those uh, haters out there on NFL Network and, and uh, ESPN analysts have predicted that the Philadelphia Eagles with J uh, Jalen Hurts were going to take over the NFC East. I don't see it happening. Dallas will win the NFC East this year. So there you have it. That's my sentiments of what need to be done this year. I'm not going to go out on a limb, but I still think we can win the NFC East. Put God in your life. Love one another. Let's go Dallas Cowboys and, and, and take care of business. And, and uh, I want to speak to all the great YouTubers out there, like um, Law Nation, Mark Holmes, Joe Boo Sports, uh, AZ Sports, uh, Skywalker Steel, and all your other greats. Um, uh, Cowboy Fan Talk, uh, 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 Cowboy uh, Huddle, all you other great YouTubers uh, that stick together, work together, help one another, and be encouraged. And let's go Dallas Cowboys and do something great this year. I love you. Take care. God bless you.